game is just not there at the moment and Trump is picking him off without having to play at his best. He's already a frame away from the quarterfinals and a meeting with either Another terrific long pot from Judd Trump. You could make a pretty strong case for him being the best long potter of all time. A case to argue against. I mean, there have been some great ones, but right now, certainly, that would be, I think, the case. I think the fact he's in his prime, isn't he? Early 30s now. Been world champion. He's, in, he's fit and healthy, so... Who knows, even longer perhaps, depending how long he wants to go through it all. That rate of success is going to smash all records. 50. More world championships, isn't he? That's, I think that's the, we know that. He's winning all these other events and you know, the game is changing fast. But look at that shot. He's opened the reds up. Sick. But this is, the cue was fizzing here. He's got that thin red as you look down the table. Yes, these days, greatness seems to be measured by the Triple Crown events of World UK and Masters. Of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan to build on. In the years ahead, he came very cl close to making it four at the UK Championship this season. At 30, certainly these days. Still playing a very and he is a good player. 50. As I say, he got through his match to get to this round last night. Ever got started. And uh, it's as one sided as you'll see, really. Because he, like it, all the other players, would be eyeing up. Yes, yeah, so Bakker has scored just 37 points. 61. He also played a lovely little cannon to release the black at the start of this break. Had a night to forget. He has had opportunities, but seen time and time again in the last couple of years, he hasn't necessarily played his best early in cranking it up as the great players do when it really matters at the sharp end. Make it five ranking titles for the season, just one behind his own record. The Gibraltar Open, Stuart Bingham there, who of course lost to Jimmy White this week. And as a result, is really struggling as regards. A bit of sort of a heart sinking moment would be if he has to qualify. Of not getting through it will not, will might just keep him awake at night. I mean, the way he's finished this match is a lot better than the way he started it. Again, what the best players do, they're just impressive in the end. We'll remember this more than the way it to put pressure on early, wasn't it? And he did have those opportunities in the first frame before Trump settled way out in front in that regard. It's almost as though the match never started for Ersan Bakker. He has been pretty much rooted to that chair. When he has had chances, he's almost immediately given them up. 